Welcome back to another of you rising video. Today we're going to be talking just some beginner tips here for some good loot spots that may not be super obvious or how we can take advantage of these spots early on. So we're going to start off with the Forgotten Cemetery here, which is where Nikolaus the Fallen is. Uh, this is a good spot to get early grave dust, which obviously can go towards our early rings and some other recipes that we need that grave dust for. So if you come up here, we can loot these little crypts here and we just need to be super careful about the enemies around this area. They're really strong early on. So just kind of stay moving and you should be able to get out of here pretty easily. And after jumping down this little side here, we can loot this last container. And as long as we have wolf form, we can kind of just run out safely which is super useful to just get in, get our grave dust and get out. Next, we're gonna be heading up towards the Dunley Monastery. Now on the map, it says that they have Scourge down here. It used to not show that, uh, but now it does, which is super nice. However, it might be a little confusing as to where that Scourge Stone is or why that's significant. And I'm just going to show really quickly how we can take advantage of that Scourge Stone because we actually need a decent chunk of Scourge Stone early on, particularly for our Scourge Stone Pendant, which is now 12 Scourge Stone. And while it is only 3 Whetstone and 3 Grave Dust now, and as opposed to what it used to be, uh, which was kind of annoying then, uh, it's still nice to be able to find a spot that we can farm this Scourge Stone quickly because obviously Scourge Stone also goes towards Silver later on. So we'll just head up here in wolf form and grab these containers. And keep in mind that Holy Radiation no longer knocks you out of wolf form, which is so much better than it was. I mean, it might be a little crazy to be able to do this, but I'm just gonna show that how nice this is to be able to run through here with wolf form now and take way less radiation damage than you used to whenever you had to do this just by walking. Uh, be careful on this backside, there's a lot of patrols that can come back here. And then after hitting this last container and checking quickly for chests that spawn over here, we're going to head back the other way and just jump off this ledge over here. And once we jump off this, conveniently there are a couple horses waiting for us right off the back. And lastly with the monastery, I just wanted to show that if you're up here and you realize you're taking too much holy damage you need a break, and you need a break without jumping down, you can actually just come over to this corner here, which is an area where Stonelock actually missed the radiation on this spot here. So if you just stand right over here, you can kind of just take a second, heal up before you keep going with your looting. This next tip is pretty niche, honestly. Uh, so imagine you are in a fresh wipe, maybe you're late to the wipe and you ran past Quincy and you notice that Quincy is unlocked and you thought, you know what, I'm just gonna do this. And let's say you get a really early Quincy before you got bear form. So again, this is very niche, but if you use something that can hit behind this rock here, obviously I'm using axes, which isn't really, you know, doesn't really make sense, but something like crossbow, uh, copper crossbow Q, you can shoot these rocks and eventually break them. And uh, if you break them, you'll see that now, we can jump through this rock to get through, which allows us to farm some early and fairly safe iron. Just watch out for these little rock piggies here. But yeah, we should be able to farm that iron pretty safely early on. Next, we're going to head over to the Dunley Farmer's Market. Now, obviously you can use human form to go in here and buy things from people, but one thing you may not realize is that there are tons and tons of breakables in this area, which is a super nice way to get things that you need early for your hollow fang, cloth, wool thread, a lot of glass here as well, which can be super nice. Uh, so just as long as we're dodging these patrols, you know, we don't want to aggro the whole camp. So we could break this fence and then break this other fence and we'll have easy access to these breakables. So just keep that in mind. And finally in the Dunley area, we are going to head up to the werewolf village. Now I've mentioned this before, 
But I just want to reiterate how nice this place is as a safe location for early farming for a lot of the mats that we need when we're in tier two. Obviously, if you wait to the daytime, the werewolves turn back into humans. And these guys are basically just cotton farmers that don't like you stealing their cotton. You know, they're along that, that they're about that strong. So super easy to deal with. So just uh, make sure we're coming over here and grabbing all of these lootable containers. There's a lot of breakables as well as lootables. So if we're looking at that, that can be really nice to get some early loot, looting every one of these lootables, as well as the chests in the area. They can spawn chests all over this area and that can have all kinds of things inside of it. Uh, including recipe books as well as fish like you just saw there so lots of stuff we can get from the werewolf village next we're going to head over to the hollowed mountains now this may seem like a really strange one because there's not really much here but in tier two you actually need a decent amount of thick hide which can be kind of annoying to come by at first but if you come over to the hollowed mountains you have the just all you have is bears and wolves for the most part but each of the things here drop thick hide and a decent amount at that so you know if you're paying attention and you're coming this way and just whenever you need that thick hide you just remember to come over here it can be super nice to get a big decent chunk of thick hide really quickly then we're going to head up to one of my favorite quick looting spots which is the North and South Outposts, Army Outposts, next to the Silverlight Hills Teleporter. This one, the North one's heading up towards Gloomrot. It's a new location. And it has three houses with two containers each that we can loot with, you know, Silverlight Hills lootables. So that's, that's pretty solid. Uh, obviously, you know, it's not like, you know, absolute in-game mats, but this kind of stuff can be really nice to, you know, get the things that we need early and easily with a bunch of containers and containers mean, you know, have a decent chance to drop things like recipe books as well. So uh, there's those two different houses, those two different army outposts have a total of 10 containers. Next, we're gonna head over to the silver mine and I'm sure you guys are well aware of the rat hole by now, but I just wanted to reiterate how nice this can be uh, currently, when I'm filming this section, I'm on a server that's totally populated with about 40 people. And I just walked in here and found five chests. So it seems like a lot of people are kind of forgetting that this place exists. And it's super nice just to check it every so often. It's not hard to get in and get out here. You just kind of run in, check for chests, and if you get anything you need, take it. And then you leave out the front gate. You can go rat form, you can go wolf form. You don't have to fight Magnus. But you'll see here, we just found, you know, a nice gold chest there with a lot of items inside of it. And then we'll check this one here. And look at that. Tier 3 cloak, which is, that's the real loot. Am I right? I mean, come on. Who doesn't want the nice custom Tier 3 cloaks to show off? So... Definitely remember, do not forget, do not sleep on the rat hole. And then finally, we're going to head over to North Gloomrot. This is just the upper area of Voltatia's factory up here. I just wanted to show that it's actually a... There's some breakables up here that people may not really realize that you can come out the back side of this location. And there's not really many patrols or anything back here. You know, there's like this one patrol here. And there's plenty of breakables you can hit here as well as on the inside. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, they have things like radium alloy, depleted batteries, tech scrap, that kind of thing. Obviously tech scrap, not too hard to come by. But it might be nice to come up here every once in a while and get that radium alloy and depleted batteries in a nice safe location. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did... Feel free to subscribe. I make videos like this all the time. So anyway, thank you for watching and we will catch you in the next one.